Okay guys, this is a really small tutorial to show you how to set up your minimap uh, on IRDS. So, uh, the first thing you want to do in this case, uh, for this scene, we have a terrain in where we have the actual track we are going to use, which is one of the demos we have. Um, so, what you want to do is First, capture this layout that you can see on your scene view. So you have that as a base for making your minimap texture. Then um, you will pretty much edit it in any uh, image editor app you may have. I use GIMP in this case and you could just simply remove everything that it's uh, like the training here uh, and then you will end with a uh, with something like this so you save this texture and import it into unity the reason to to get this texture this size which pretty much matches the terrain that you are using is because um, that way it will be easier to set up uh, your minimap because you won't have to be you know like uh, trying to calculate or, or or do trial and error to to make it match with the actual um, terrain size that are, you are using or the size of your track so the thing is, in this case, we have the terrain which is set at zero zero on position, so it's pretty much on this um, quadrant of the um, of your axis in here in C and X. So it is in the first quadrant here. In this case, you could have it anywhere, but this will make it easier, and you will see why. In a minute so when you get uh, to have an example we have here already the canvas which is a prefab that you have on the demo of, of IRDS it is included uh, you have here the minimap and you will want to go directly to this game object which is the map image which is the one that contains the actual layout of the track that you want to show on your minimap and in there you're going to pick um, the new minimap you just created which is in this case this one so you can see here that this texture has the exact same amount of, uh, of pixels on X and Y so it is perfectly square, square. that's better to use it that way will make your life easier because you what you need to actually do to make it match with with what you have on your wall on your wall um or your uh, scene view is to to um, you have to play with the pivot values in here in this case by changing this into zero and zero we are pretty much if we checked the image here i'm going to just disable the mask for now so you can see it but if you select the image you see that the pivot matches what is the actual pivot of the terrain so the minimap image has the pivot in this same spot the terrain has it that will actually make the minimap match your track in the wall position so then the other thing that you have to do is make the width and the height of your texture match the units you are using on your terrain in this case for example the the terrain width and the length is uh, 2000 so we are going to use a, this exact value for the minimap map image so i'm going to put here 2000 and in here the same value so 
what we just did is enlarge the image pretty much uh, so it actually matches the uh, world position of your cars and your track if you want to reduce um, the, uh, the size of your track layout on the minimap you should use then the um, the actual uh, zoom level here so you can uh, reduce it or enlarge it so let's try it out and let's see how it fits our track so you can see there that it is pretty much matching exactly the layout that we have right now on this scene So that's how you uh, actually match the minimap with the track layout that you are trying to use. Um, if for some reason you have an example your your track not on the on the starting from zero zero position on the wall position, well you will have to adjust your map image pivot to try to match where the pivot of the of the of your track is uh, with respect with the position in in zero 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 so let's say if we have this map like this then you will try to put your pivot of your of your image so it is pretty much like here on your image uh, not sure if that i think that makes some sense so yeah it, it's the way that you actually make it match for the minimap to what you have actually on the world position or on your scene so the best way i i strongly suggest to to make everything from the zero zero position but if you already have your tracks that's not an issue just try to make your texture in a size that covers the track that you are actually using um, try to measure your length and, and your length and your width of your entire track um, like in a cube so you could maybe create a cube like let's say you could create a cube, cube here like this and you could create then your texture with that size too and start working with that but taking taking into consideration your, that your pivot may not be zero exactly so that's pretty much it uh, thanks for for watching